I've been listening to Joe Rogan for the last 10 or so years, and whether you like him or hate him, you gotta admit that his reach is crazy huge, and that's really, really impressive. And part of having such a big reach is uh, that you're suspect to, you know, some jokes uh, being thrown your way or whatever. One thing Joe Rogan is known for is uh, talking about the same topics over and over and over and over, and uh, but I was thinking, like, it must be really, really hard to talk to people, like, almost every single day for three hours and not always repeat yourself you know and uh, especially when you're so insanely high it must be like really difficult to have kind of like an opinion formed ready to go and thrown into a podcast like he smokes so much weed that no normal human would be able to talk into a microphone for such a long period of time so i thought maybe i'll do a little experiment i rolled myself a little joint here i'm gonna smoke some weed and try to hit all the topics that joe rogan usually hits and see how well i do i mean people talk shit about him all the time let's take my broadcasting skills to the test and see how well i I do trying to be Joe Rogan when I'm as high as Joe Rogan. All right, I'll, I guess I'll see you guys on the other side. Man, so we live in a world that could, that might not even be a world. You know, we might be living inside of a computer game. Somebody up there is playing Joe Rogan the video game, and it's entirely possible we're living in a in a simulation, and uh, that's fucking crazy man <laughs> jesus christ i'm so shit at this it's possible that a simulation is one day going to be inevitable that we're going to have something that's indistinguishable from regular reality but maybe we're not there yet that's also possible that we're not yes, quite there yet that this is real when i touch that it feels wood. very real man i have a friend his name is cameron haynes he runs ultra marathon that means he runs 200 miles in a day that's fucking crazy man the discipline that has to go on with that type of thing you know, like I had a friend, his name was um, Goggins. I can't remember I can't remember his first name, <laughs> Goggins. And he was so fat and stupid that he looked at himself and he was like, listen, man, <laughs> you got to take your fat ass. And you got to start running like a, a lot so you can lose all the weight and be strong and, and hot. Someone was talking to him, it was like 104 degrees outside. And he goes, why are you running? He goes, I'll tell you why I'm running, because you're not, motherfucker. <laughs> Man, I was at the Comedy Store, aka Murderer's Row. Any comedian that doesn't perform at the Comedy Store is a fucking shit comedian and isn't even a comedian. Like, if, you, if you're not only performing at the Comedy Store, are you even doing comedy? And there's so many killers there and a lot of people just didn't feel like they got the respect that they deserved there. You're on a lineup with 15 murderers and yeah. everyone's killing in front of you. Dude, comedy store. We got we got all the greats. We got Brian Cal, Chris D'Elia, Brendan Schwab, Polly Shore. <laughs> the, all the greats at the comedy store. Like I was there with my uh, my friend Joey Diaz. Heard of him? And he was he was like, this is God. Listen, God, sir, I'm out here. I'm uh, sucking dick for a living. This is so stupid. Joey Diaz <laughs> fired on a plane. It was so bad, I wrote a story about it. <laughs> Yo, you, you take vitamin D? Man, I take a lot of vitamin D. I take so much. I took so much vitamin D, I don't even need to go out in the sun. How much vitamin D do you take? 4,000 uh, milligrams? Oh, that's that's nothing. I take 8,000. Like, I don't need a vaccine or anything. I got vitamin D. And the thing is also, like, I don't even need vitamin D because I'm in the sauna like four times a day. I, I just live in a sauna. Let me ask you something about sauna use. If you are in contact, that 20 minutes in a, a really hot sauna is uh, very good for killing some of the virus. Is that bullshit? Yes. Jesus Christ, these people. Okay, well, I guess this was my little experiment that I uh, wanted to try and see how well I would do at being Joe Rogan, and I think I absolutely failed. Like, like he may repeat himself and, like, talk about, like, kind of, like, the same topics, like, whoever the guest is, but, like, so solid. Like, you know exactly, like, you can't be like, oh, he's a hypocrite, because it's like, like, you go back episode after episode, and you'll just see his opinion slightly change. Anyway, this is my little experiment, and I hope you enjoy it. I gotta stop the kind of freaking out now. Jesus Christ.